Hello all, welcome to my channel on Android. Today I will demonstrate you concept of gradient, but uh, how to use that particular concept using XML way. In my previous video, I demonstrate you concept of gradient using practical way that is programmatically. Right now, I will demonstrate you concept of gradient using XML. So let's start developing Android Studio project. You can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the new empty activity then here in after this you can just give the name of your application i'm just giving the name of application that is gradient using xml demo you can choose the language that you want i'm choosing the kotlin then you can click on the finish basically there are uh, three types of gradients available in android that is linear gradient radial gradient and sweep gradient Linear gradient generally uh, used with the angle you need to specify over there. And in radial gradient, you need to specify the radius. So uh, let's start developing the project. Very simple. Whenever you want uh, the gradient using the XML way, you need to use the folder that is your drawable folder. So just right click on drawable, new, and you can just click on drawable resource file. Here I am just giving the drawable resource file name is uh, linear gradient. Uh, by default, it will be choose as a XML. Then you can choose your root element as a C. Once you select your root element save, you can just click on OK. So what it will do, it will open this here uh, in text. You can change your uh, code you can define the code for this now which shape you want for the gradient right uh, uh, <clears throat> in my previous video i demonstrate you the concept like uh, uh, i uh, use the canvas and using canvas i draw the circle and uh, uh, i taken the class of the linear gradient but right now what i will do i will just uh, define the shape so uh, here simple you can select android shape what, uh, which shape you want for a <clears throat> Uh, circle you can choose oval and for the rectangle line which uh, shape you want so right now i'm just selecting a rectangle for linear gradient now you can just define here gradient and here in gradient you can define uh, so many parameters first of all whenever you are using the linear gradient you just need to do what so uh, first of all you need to define the type that which uh, gradient you want to use i want the linear gradient once you define the linear gradient then uh, important property will be the angle in which angle you want to display right now i'm just specifying here angle is 90 whenever you define this two property then you need to specify the colors right so like let me define the start color start color is my uh, f00 it means it is red here you can define the center color center color is uh, i'm just giving the red green and blue like you can uh, define the colors um, my start color is uh, red why because i am specifying f in red uh, then you can define your uh, center color i'm just giving my center color is uh, all the attribute whenever you are specifying with the zero it will automatically take the colors that is black because it is a code for the same you can define here and color my and color is has zero f zero it means it will be uh, green right once you define all this you can check over here in design you can switch over here and you can see that uh, this gradient is look over here and it is in a rectangle shape if you want to change this you can just select and you can just write here oval then the shape of the gradient will be changed right uh, right now i'm just taking here rectangle one more thing that you can notice over here that angle of this colors are displayed over here suppose if you want to change the angle just to write here angle that is 45 and see the angle looks of this colors will be in a 45 angle so this is the way you can define your linear gradient now how to use this in your activity main that i will demonstrate you but before this i want to take the three different gradients so you can just uh, again right click on your drawable folder and you can just uh, take your drawable resource file in drawable resource file you can give the name of your gradient uh, again i am just giving the name of my file that is radial underscore gradient 
see here suppose might be a chance if you are not able to change the selector uh, to save and if you press the enter the simple very simple here you can select your selector and you can uh, replace it with the save then you can just add your shape over here so to define a shape you can uh, just write here shape is equal to whenever you are using the radial gradient i request you to use the oval because uh, what happens uh, in radial gradient we have to use the radius property so uh, it looks better with this here you can use the gradient again i am choosing the type my type is now radial gradient whenever you are writing the radial gradient uh, you need to take care what you need to define the gradient radius this are this two are the most important property here you can check that uh, gradial, uh, gradient radius is equal to 200 and the type is radial now you can define the start color and color and the center color i am just writing here start color is has f00 it means it will take the red color as my starting point here you can define the end color uh, my end color will be has 0 f0 it means it will be green right you can just check my end color is uh, looking like a green and my start color is red then you can define the center color i'm uh, just writing here center color is equal to and you can define the center color that is 000 it will be look like a black uh, it is depend upon the totally depend upon the radius you can change the radius over here see if you put it here 400 then the values will be changed right uh, right now i am taking it as a radi radius that is 200 once it is done you can take another gradient file so just right click on drawable new and again choose the drawable resource file now i am giving the drawable resource file name is sweep underscore gradient and you can choose your root element my root element is a shape and then you can click on ok whenever you are starting like this here you can choose your shape right now i am just taking my shape as a oval now again it's a time to define the gradient so you can define your type my type is sweep whenever you are defining the type now here important property in the sweep gradient is only sweep and then uh, you just need to define the uh, collection of the colors so uh, let me define the start color my start color is for example again red here you can define the center color center color is uh, for example green then you can define the end color my end color is uh, for example 00 app it will be blue and here you can check in the preview see uh, it is look like a sweep gradient right uh, if you want that i don't want this sweep gradient in oval then you can change the shape also once all these three xml file is created now it's a time to uh, attach this xml drawable file into my activity main because whenever i execute my project uh, it will display only hello world whenever you execute this program uh, it will not display all this gradient file until and unless you attach all this gradient file into your activity main so uh, let's do programming how to do this very simple here in activity main you can take as and when uh, image view that you require see here uh, output of this project will be hello world only it will not display this linear gradient radial gradient or swift gradient so very simple now how to bind all this over here very simple you can just uh, click on hello world and you can remove the same now i am taking here image view and you can just put here image view and you can choose your color as uh, choose your drawable right now i am choosing the linear gradient and you can click on ok whenever you click on ok it will not display in a full way why because size is not set in your image view so you can just write here that is uh, it is 200 dp width and 200 dp that is my height so whenever you define like this you can just check that here you can find the uh, your rectangle shape over here of linear gradient not only this uh, suppose if you want that i don't want the rectangle i want the oval so you can change over here and you can just check that in your activity main the changes will be reflected over here now i want another image view over here very simple you can just uh, move the dra drag and drop over here 
and you can choose your another gradient suppose i am taking here radial gradient and you can just click on ok whenever you click on ok uh, obviously infer constraint is required and then you need to provide the width and height i am just giving the width and height that is 200 dp 200 dp you can just check see these are my two uh, circles it is available over here one is related to linear gradient and another one is related to that is radial gradient so uh, what i did a uh, symbol i take the text view and i'm just changing the name over here i'm just writing here it is a linear gradient here you can size uh, set the text size uh, suppose i am using the 20 sp then you can say say that text color i am using the primary uh, dark then here uh, at last over here in this uh, after this image view i want to display that uh, this is a radial gradient so here in text view you can just define that it is a radial gradient uh, and uh, again the same property that you set earlier you can just copy this and you can set it to your this text view also once it is done now it's a time to add one more image view over here and that is for the sweep gradient so very simple you can just take your uh, image view over here and here in this image view you can um, select your image now i am selecting the image that is sweep gradient again you just need to click on infer constraint and you need to provide the width and height now i am giving the width that is 200 dp height that is uh, then you can click on infer constraint now these are the my uh, basically there are three types of gradient that i have used in my program once you use all these things see now once you set all these things i want to uh, put one text view over here also so you can just uh, drag and drop the text view over here and you can give the name of this uh, text view this is the sweep gradient right so again you can just a uh, simple copy the text color and text size and you can paste into the last text view that you have taken and that text you uh, you can just set the name of the text view that is it is sweep gradient once it is done now you can execute your application instead of displaying the hello world now my this application will display all this gradient you can just check that see linear gradient radial gradient and sweep gradient what i have written inside the main activity.kt i had not written the single line over here and still i am getting here the linear gradient radial gradient and sweep gradient all these things i did using xml web only that's it from my side thank you for listening me if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all